Mm. Caitlin Crutchlow is eating something that could kill her older brothers, peanut butter. But her mom hopes Caitlin can avoid developing the potentially fatal allergy through a regimen now endorsed by the National Institutes of Health. Just to think that she'll go through life not having to worry about a peanut allergy, it's tremendous. Just tremendous. New NIH guidelines released Thursday mark a major shift in dietary advice. They're based on landmark research that found exposure to peanuts in the first year of life lowers a baby's chances of becoming allergic. Guidelines differ depending on allergy risk. The recommendations say high-risk infants like Caitlin should be evaluated by a doctor first and introduced to peanut-based foods as soon as four to six months of age. These guidelines uh, should be publicized and should be made known to everybody, but particularly to, those in, uh, to the parents of the infants who are at risk, because we have really a lot of information suggesting that really peanut allergies right now has reached like epidemic proportions. Caitlin was at high risk because her brothers have peanut allergies and because she's allergic to milk and eggs. She had her first taste of peanuts in the doctor's office when she was six months old. Following the recommendations, her parents continue to give her peanut butter and say it's among her favorite foods. They're grateful for the new guidelines, even though they came too late for their sons. We're thrilled, just thrilled. And yeah, we would have done things differently in the infancy of our boys had we known, but we didn't. We do now, which is amazing, it's fantastic. Helping alleviate some of the family's stress. Wow. Yay! Kathy Matheson, Associated Press.